proceed in our next discussion which will be revealed by solving a sequence of picture posted on the screen and what you are going to do is simply add those picture to get the word being described for those picture so shall we start okay miss please state your name first okay very good this is isometric and it is something to do for our class discussion for today and what do you think our discussion for this afternoon what do you think okay very good isometric row and before we formally start our discussion for today let us have first our goal and objective for today which after going through the discussion you are expected to the first objective is this bit. okay very good which is to define isometric growth and number two objective is this bit. okay very good which is to demonstrate an understanding on how to draw isometrically an object and the last objective for our lesson is this one. Okay, very good. Which is to explain the differences between isometric drawing and other types of dimensional drawing. Now, let us proceed to the definition of the isometric drawing. Isometric drawing is a form of 3D drawing which is a set out using 30 degree angles. It is a type of axonometric drawing. So, the same scale is used for every axis, resulting in a non-distorted an isometric drawing is a 3D representation of an object, room, building, or a design on a 2D surface. One of the defining characteristics of the isometric drawing compared to other 3D representation is that the final image of isometric drawing is not distorted. This is due to the fact that the foreshortening of the axis is equal. The word isometric is come from the Greek word ISO means equal and metric means measure. So it is said that isometric drawing is a kind of drawing in which it is defined as an equal distribution of the line of an object. An engineer or architect or even a draftsman or draftsman are making isometric drawing to make a 3D representation of an object. Also, they are wanted to show the different views of an object, specifically the front, the top, and the right side view. In our next discussion, we are going to tackle these three main views of an isometric drawing. But this time, we only have to focus in our discussion, which is all about the isometric drawing. Earlier, I heard someone asking about the axis of the isometric. Okay, yes, mister. Please state your name first. Okay, Mr. Kira, your question is what are the different axes used in isometric drawing? That's a very good question. Definitely, there are three axes used in isometric drawing, which is the X, Y, and Z axis. Each of these axes having a representation or role in making isometric drawing. First, the X axis. It represents as the width of the object or how big is something formed from left to right side of the object. And it always rep or it represents by the lines that have a negative slope and go downwards to the left side of the object. Next is the Y axis which is represent the height of the drawings. It shows us how tall something or how tall the object is from the bottom to top. And the last is the Z axis. It represents the depth of the object or how big something is formed from left or from back to front always represent by the lines that have a positive slope or go up towards to the right sides of the object. Mr. Kirai, did I answer your question? Okay, very good, thank you. 
and class. Did you get it, my point? Okay, very good. To better and fully understand our discussion for today, I prefer you a video from YouTube or a video presentation from YouTube that will help you in making your own isometric drawing. So please watch the video. watch the video and you already know the meaning of the isometric drawing on how to draw isometrically an object so let us have our application for today's discussion as you can see on the screen this is an example of isometric drawing and what you are going to do is to make this isometric drawing in a one whole sheet of band paper did you understand okay you may now start your work. Okay, class, are you done? Okay, pass your work by simply scanning the QR code presented on the screen to redirect you to the page and to personally administer your work. Okay, congratulations everyone for correctly responding in our application yesterday. So let us all give a round of applause to everybody. It seems that you already learned our discussion today. So let us have your assignment. Your assignment will be posted in our Google Classroom. And what you are going to do is to make your own isometric drawing. Is that clear? Okay. Pass your assignment as soon as possible and don't be late. Did you get it? Okay. So before I end this discussion, do you have any questions, clarification, or violent reaction about discussion? Okay, since everybody doesn't have any question, clarification, or violent reaction, that's all for today. I hope you learned something from our discussion and get ready for our next discussion, which is all about orthographic drawing. Again, this is Teacher Lester and have a good day. Thank you.